What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Super here and welcome back to another MK11 video. I want to try to make this one as quick as possible because I woke up today with like a little scratchy throat and I do not want to have any possibility of getting sick or at least getting a sore throat or losing my voice, God forbid, during leading up to the MK11, you know, community event. So definitely want to rest up here so i want to try and make it as quick as possible but if you guys have been enjoying the content make sure you guys leave a like rating on the video it's always appreciated so here we go so the big news today is that ed boone and netherrealm officially announced the cover arts for mortal kombat 11 which i'll put on the screen right now and as you guys can see it looks a little familiar doesn't it i'll be talking about that in a bit um, but just talking about the art, it looks really good. Um, I love Scorpion's new design, his default design, but I could already tell based on, you know, just looking at the character model. The customization for the ninjas is going to be out of this world awesome. I can't wait, man. Ah, I can't wait to see what other ninjas other than Sub-Zero and Scorpion are going to be in the game because their customization is going to look great. So let me know down in the comments section what you guys think of the official box art for MK11. I think it looks pretty cool. So moving on now to talk about this quote unquote email leak. So some of you guys might not even know what the hell I'm talking about. So let me just quickly bring you up to speed. About three weeks ago, there was someone who accidentally or on purpose, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just some random person who happened to get linked by accident in this email thread. Or if it's an actual WB employee or another Realm employee in marketing that leaked these emails. So pretty much it was a marketing email thread describing what was going to happen at the Game Awards two weeks before it happened. Um, so already that sort of gave a little legitimacy to, to these leaks. Um, it also was talking about in later leaks or in later emails talking about what was going to happen at mk day which of course is the reveal then on january 17th and showing off the first look at the box art slash cover art for mk11 which i'll put up on the screen right now and boy oh boy does that look familiar or what um so based on the fact that another realm officially announced this box art it kind of gives a uh, giant legitimacy to the quote-unquote email leaks that actually came out like three weeks ago and the email thread was I think created on November 21st which was like two weeks before the Game Awards um, so that's pretty crazy but just because the um, box art ended up being true and that's what's you know NetherRealm is going with doesn't mean that every single detail might not be true you know what i mean or might be true uh there might be some things here and there that might not have gotten finalized maybe they were in process of doing it didn't end up doing it so let's go through the leak again for you guys who uh, might not know about it so let's see all right let me bring it up here the details some of the details that i want to talk about is of course the number one thing right is the email thread had mentioned that Ronda Rousey was going to be the voice actress for Sonya. Now, Ronda Rousey is a legitimate superstar, right? Probably the most famous women's MMA fighter of all time. Definitely not the best, but probably the most recognizable women's MMA fighter of all time. Now a WWE superstar, so of course Ronda Rousey is like a legitimate superstar, and she's probably really expensive to work with. And who knows? Uh, I I believe for Mortal Kombat X, there was actually dual voice actors for characters. I think I had seen on Twitter that the voice actress for Melina was actually working as like there was two voice actresses for Melina, one for like the grunting noises and the screams and the fighting noises and then there was another voice actress for the actual dialogue that Melina had in the story mode. Um, so that might be a case where Ronda Rousey does the voice acting for, you know, when Sonya's talking in the story mode and everything, but she's not going to be the one like grunting and doing the, um, you know, the screams and the death noises and stuff like that. So. If that's the case, then that's definitely going to be something that, um, you know, is a lot more likely to happen. 
Uh, let's move on now from Ronda Rousey. By the way, it does say that Ronda Rousey will be at the MK Community Reveal, and that's when she's going to be announced as the voice actor for Sonya, and she's going to be there, you know, talking about the character. So, something else that came up in these emails was Garrus, a new character that's going to be announced and revealed, of course, via the NetherRealm Twitter. We already know that there's going to be new character reveals, there's going to be gameplay footage, and there's going to be story mode shown off at the uh, community event. Um, so pretty much Garrus described marketing originally wanted to show Shao Kahn trailer um, to tout the pre-order exclusive character. That doesn't seem possible. I guess Shao Kahn's gameplay is not ready to be shown off yet at the community event. So they're going to show off this new character Garrus. Uh, that's pretty much what it says there. Um, it also describes what was going to be happening gameplay wise and what were they what they were going to show off at the community event which pretty much coincides with what netherrealm tweeted you know they're going to be showing gameplay a little bit of story mode um you know gameplay features new characters etc etc uh for the core gameplay they're going to be showing fighting presentation custom variations crushing blows and super moves which are going to be replacing x-rays uh tower of time which are like the living towers of course I guess talking about online slash multiplayer, maybe giving a, a date for the uh, beta, which you will get if you pre-order the game, and then closing it out with fatalities, brutalities, and gore as an end cap. I guess, you know, from what has been said before, like, there's going to be a new gore system that allows you to make fatalities even gorier by, you know, doing some requirements. I don't know how that's going to work, but... That's what they want to say, save as an end cap right there. Um, and other than that, it just says that everything needs to be pre-recorded before the day comes, which is understandable because if you're running a live stream, you never know what could happen. And the worst thing that could happen for a huge community reveal for a Mortal Kombat game is to have something fuck up while you're doing something live. So, you know, for events like that in E3 and all that shit, it's way better to have things pre-recorded so the people could just talk about what's on the screen being played as a video that's pre-recorded instead of trying to do stuff live and then having you know a possibility for something to go wrong like the game crashes the game doesn't respond something happens you know so it's a lot better to have things pre-recorded which looks like is going to be the case so other than that i think that's going to be it guys like i said i want to try to keep this as short as possible just because my throat is, uh, it's not hurting, but I just, it just doesn't feel right. And it feels a little scratchy, a little dry, you know what I mean? So I'm going to try to drink as much tea and, you know, take medicine so I can get rid of this thing before it actually starts. Because it doesn't hurt or anything. Um, but I know that's how these throat you know, the sore throat starts. That's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about the MK11 box art, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.